So a quick look over the structure because I've split it into three I've got some prerequisites and then we've got the roll up six only Let's just have a quick look at that it's obviously fairly straightforward fairly simple and then you've got the separate in fact if you're at all smart you'll have seen me do a fast track on this which is just these post hotfix roll up fixes that's that's available for free on the website so just check that out just in case you want a little bit more on the, these scripts and setups so so that's separate now you could actually put those together um, but but that's just the way I do it there has to be a limit if you make it monolithic and you make all these scripts that it goes from nothing to everything see I can use these in my setting up of the Citrix servers rather easily so uh, that's the reason I split it out plus the debugging is better if you've got a, a, a certain level of split rather than trying to make it a, a great big one okay let's get on with the test so we've got this Zen app 5 box and it's been snapshotted because it's virtual just means if we cock it up I've put some pauses let's have a quick look I put pauses all down the uh, just in case there's an issue with that and oh I think that's gone wrong then I can sort of hop, uh, stop it mid midway oh, but obviously to a certain degree that means I've got to hang around a little bit but we should be able to run that directly as you can see I've not run it before so this is going to be exciting I need to go to that's my scripting framework but I've created a fast track framework in the application video which you can see so if you want to you know the templates very simple um, and I, you can I can I'm not a, I have been a reasonable packager when I use wires and so on but these days I keep it as simple as I possibly can and so I've made a little medium -y scripting framework for you if you're at all interested if you're not and you have your own ways then obviously that's great too so we're going to do the complete and at the end I want to I want to do a restart let's just show you that Anyway, just checking on that one so when it gets to the end it's going to do a restart got to get by all the pauses like if I clicked on the right thing we'd be away and away we go now that's not going to install because I've rammed it out but if I didn't have the correct version of Java that would just install it okay because because they're the right you can see it's lapping around the console screen Java update 0 you don't want it to update it's on a Citrix server same with the Visual C++ redistributable if you haven't got 2005 SP1 on your box then that would run that that would install it it's you can see it's a slash QN so you don't get any feedback it'll just go on to the next step once finished 